Hey there, guys. All right. <clears throat> Today we are back with some more Salmonella Academy, and this time the forms of carbon as alcoholic drinks. This is a two-minute video. I really do not know what the fuck to expect in this. Again, it's one of Sam's older videos, so... Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Um... Yeah. Uh, before we dive in, make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below. I would love if you join the Discord and follow me over at Twitch. Nothing to say. Let's let's possibly get traumatized by Tamonella. <laughs> Hey kids, hey today I'll be discussing the alcoholic equivalents of the various allotropes of carbon. For those of you... You know, I love you, Sam. I have a very strong feeling you don't know what the word allotropes means. Am I just saying that because I have no clue what the word means? Yes. <laughs> For you that don't know, an allotrope is just the various forms that carbon atoms can arrange themselves in. Okay, never mind, he does know. But anyway, let's get started. So amorphous carbon is like beer. It's the first form to ever be produced by humans, likely by accident. It's also the weakest form. It has a bunch of varieties, most of which taste terrible. And you need a whole lot of it if you want to have a good cookout. Gra you know, that fits way better than it should as an analogy. What the fuck? Graphite is like wine. It's almost as old as amorphous carbon, having been used by humans since ancient times. However, it's significantly stronger. Up until recently, only the rich could really get much enjoyment out of it. But today, most individuals can use it if they choose. But not all varieties are equal. Diamond is like- Wait, hold on, which- HP number two greater than- Yeah. Wait, is that the- Hold on, I'm- Or is that less? Wait, hold on. Uh, oh no, that's the last one. The HB number two is less than this one. Is this the mechanical pen? Pencil? One? I don't know. I don't know what brand this one is supposed to be. Wait, I think I do know. Never mind. Yeah, that one is the superior one. Sauvignon. Better than boxed wine. Diamond is like vodka. First of all, it's very strong, the strongest form that's likely to be found in the average household. It's typically valued based on its purity and clarity. Well, oh, I wonder if he's going to have um, moonshine in here. He's got to. He's an American. He's got to include moonshine. The flavored varieties do exist. Though it can be manufactured right here at home, most people seem to prefer it when it's from far off lands. <laughs> and remember never to use too much of it or else you might regret it later. Graphene is like brandy. It's similar to graphite in structure, but it's put through a process to make it more pure, and as a result, it's much stronger. Fullerenes are like absinthe. It's not as mainstream as the other varieties, mostly only being used by the intellectual types. It's also claimed to have a bunch of- Hold on. Can be a semiconductor, conductor, or superconductor under different conditions. Can be used to protect against free radicals. Displays the photochromic effect, which is a change in color alongside light intensity. Look like soccer balls when not drawn like total garbage. <laughs> is green, supposedly, but not actually stimulates creativity. Hmm. Contains wormwood, which can, supposedly, but not actually, cause hallucinations in large quantities. Supposedly, but not actually, causes slow descent into madness with excessive long-term use. So, what I'm hearing here is that Salmonella drinks absinthe of properties not shared by any other form out there. But despite all its hype, it has <laughs> little real-world right. application currently. Finally, carbine is like pure alcohol. Despite its simplicity, it's extremely difficult to produce with current methods, except in very small amounts. If you were to have a bunch of it, however, it would be more than twice as strong as diamonds. Hopefully, this forced analogy has been at least vaguely informational. But anyway, that's all for today. I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. How's the forms of carbon as alcoholic drinks by Salmonella Academy? Um, I actually, this is one of, this, this video uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, it was actually uh, short, succinct, and nice, and still funny. Without being, um, having too much, uh, it didn't really have what I would consider 
Sam's edgy humor. Um, so I think this was really well done. Um, good job, Sam. Good job. Um, but I've got nothing else to add here at the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.